Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to do the first part of 3D text that looks like this. Okay, now it's much easier to do this in 3D Max or After Effects, but if you only have Vegas, I guess this is the only way you can go. So what we'll do today is we'll do the first part of the tutorial, which is just the front face with the metal-y looking text or the crystal text, if you want to call it that. Okay, it's really easy, won't take long. So we'll delete that. Right click on our track. Oh, actually, if you're an absolute beginner. Okay, on the timeline, you right click insert video track that easy right click on the track insert text media brings up your text box don't want it in there oh yeah if it ever does that um, I've actually seen a lot of people on the web asking how do I get it back out you just grab the little dots there and you can put it wherever you want. If you have another monitor, you can even put it over there, but you can't see that, so that was pointless. Okay, with your text box, you delete the text that's there, and you put something that you want to put there. So, I'll just do this. We'll change the font from Arial to... I like the copper plate. Looks fancy to me, but anyway. Size upgrade to 108 that's looking about a good size for our window um, if you go into effects here you can also do a stroke which I think looks much better not in yellow though <laughs> oh well maybe yellow to you I don't know I don't know I like red red's good red goes faster okay up the width a little bit that looks pretty good you can also change the properties of the colours and, and the placement in the screen. You can play with all this yourself. There's not much point in me going through it. Okay, now we have a little text box. What we'll do, we'll drag it to be... Well, in this case, we'll do it for five seconds. That should do it. We'll make our loop region for five. Now, what we want to do now is duplicate that track which if you right click in the open space you'll get this window and you hit that which gives you another track exactly the same so that's all we need out of our text for the moment now we need one more track so insert video track always comes up at the top drag it down to the bottom just with the number now we need something you can use anything for this if you have a bit of footage that you've already filmed of a clear blue sky with some trees and stuff that looks good um, ocean um, anything really a live band looks good with the lights uh, you want anything with a bit of like the contrast in it today I'll use it's just a little little bit of footage I've got that's an explosion if you want to get something like this no doubt you can find it on YouTube and then download it um, there's lots of places to get a bit of footage anyway what we're going to be after though is we want the change in our footage to take up most of the screen where our text is and that's not going to do it this won't really affect our text so what we've got to do is find the place in our footage where it's yeah that flames all happening there isn't it okay that'll do us but it's too small so what we'll do, we'll highlight that track there, we'll press S, and that splits the track. Now that's highlighted, we can delete it. It's gone. Well, it's not gone, it's just hidden. But... Now we'll work on this one. Now if we go to the pan crop window, and that opens up another window where we can manipulate what our footage looks like its shape and its size now you can make it bigger where you will run into a little bit of trouble you can make it any shape see but 
it doesn't want to change its aspect ratio, like the rules that have been applied to that footage. But you can tell Vegas to make it any shape you want. And you do that by maintain aspect ratio, yes, no. Now you can squash it up. You can make it really, really big. You can make it any shape you want and Vegas will stretch and pull and do all kind of strange things to your footage. Anyway, that should do for what we want. Lots of flames right through our text. Now this bit would be a problem if we were going to keep our whole screen, but as you'll see in a minute, it won't really affect what we're doing. So that should be good for what we want. We've got flames rising up through the text. Okay, we'll X out of this window. Now the next one, we change the compositing mode of our middle track to custom, height map, add, okay. Now you can see we've already got what you're seeing is the middle track of text has been changed to mutated. And if we highlight it, you won't see anything because it's invisible. So you highlight the bottom track as well. And you can see it's kind of there and it's kind of gone glassy. Now if we change the smoothness of our height map you'll see the text will appear. This can be a really cool effect over a bit of video to put a label on it or a title uh, just on its own. So if you go right up very smooth and you take your amplitude and elevation down to nothing it's invisible. Yet if you keyframed it you could make it appear this is a little bit of a deviation, but let's just have a look at that because I think it's pretty cool. Now we'll do a RAM preview on that. Tools, build dynamic RAM preview. Do it again. That's pretty cool. I like that. You could use the hell out of that. But anyway, that's not what we're doing today. So let's go back into our height map. And we want smoothness 2, I think works well. A little bit of amplitude, a little bit of elevation. And you start to see the text. And I also think it looks better when you wrap the pixels around. Okay, that should work well for us. So we exit out of that, unhighlight everything so we're seeing everything again. Now the last step, the compositing mode of your top track you change to multiply mask. And there you have your metal text. Now that probably looks not too bad actually. Let's have a look. That looks pretty good. Now you can change things a little bit more. If you wanted to, if you thought it was too dark, you can go into the effects on the lower track and maybe add some curves. I normally do this because I think it looks better. And you crush the blacks, drag it down a little bit and increase the brightness. That looks pretty good. Also, it's one other thing you can do if you have a dark patch that you don't like or you want to highlight the text even more, you can go back into your effects and add, what about a lens flare? Now what might look good is if we, if we position the lens flare at the start of the text, at the beginning, And then we drag our cursor to the end of the text and we move 
the flare to the end. Now when we scrub the timeline you'll see the flare move across the text. Which is pretty cool too.